If you're like me, you believe Washington State is one of the most beautiful places on earth. But this is the time of year where that beauty is elevated one notch up, all thanks to fall color, fall foliage that is, painting landscapes all around us, and we're approaching the peak of that season. Now, a lot of the colors that you'll see in the trees around the Pacific Northwest, well, among them, yellow is one of the most common. We actually don't tend to have the same level of vibrancy as you might expect in New England or the Midwest, but we have a good amount of color of our own. I was just in Mount Rainier and I saw some striking color in some of the foliage recently. Uh, taking you through the calendar, a map view of how we kind of transition into fall foliage season, September is still early on. I'm sure you'll have a few trees that begin to change color, but it's really October all across Washington with some of the higher elevations going first and then some of the traditionally warmer spots at lower elevations following suit through the month. As we head into November, well, things get darker and wetter and the trees tend to lose most of their leaves. Another look at some of the striking color, this from central Washington, again, yellows, uh, the reason why why uh, trees change color in the fall time is a chemical process. And it's really one word, pigments, what give the leaves their color in the first place. Now, one pigment, one compound, I know you've heard all about, take yourself back to uh, elementary school science class, chlorophyll. It's the compound that leaves use to create food, starches and sugars from carbon dioxide and water in the, process, in the presence of sunlight. Now, we all know that chlorophyll has a very uh, strong green color, and that's why the trees look green in spring and summer. But in the fall, when the nights get long, the leaves produce less of this, and those chlorophyll levels fade or diminish, and that sets the stage for other pigments, which are already in the leaves, to show themselves or to make themselves apparent. Some of these compounds that are naturally occurring in the leaves may include the same compounds or pigments that are responsible for carrots being orange or cranberries being red. So you lose the chlorophyll in fall and the other colors that were already there begin to stand out. A lone solitary look at the leaf, a beautiful shot here from Bellingham. Uh, fall colors in Washington, uh, again, they tend to show a lot of yellows, although you will see all colors. One of the reasons, though, we don't tend to have the diversity, the striking color that you might expect uh, in New England is because we actually have a lot of conifers. So that would include uh, some evergreen trees, uh, some cedars that just won't change color. And uh, I spoke with uh, a scientist at the University of Washington Botanic Garden, Ryan Garrison, and we were talking about so far this season, again, as of recording, it was early October when I made this video, normal as far as the level of colors and the timeline across Washington. And many of the maples around Seattle already beginning to change into the reds and oranges and then ashes, actually a flame ash uh, showing purple right now. Zooming into this map, in and around Seattle and some parts of the Columbia Plateau, uh, mid to late August tending to be the peak of that fall foliage season, where you can see higher elevations at this point already at peak. Now, you may be thinking, okay, that's where it's cooler, so those leaves change earlier, but it's actually not that simple because you can actually have trees of the same species at low and high elevations at the same latitude that may actually follow the same timeline and level of vibrance. It just might be different species thriving at different geographic locations, each on their own timeline. Got it? All right, the current look at fall color actually showing uh, areas around Mount Rainier up into the Cascades and the Olympic Mountains at peak. Uh, things still patchy, though, in Seattle. And as I've said, into mid and late October, expecting that color to become a little more vibrant. One more picture I'll show you, just a dazzling display. It's not just yellows, we do get all colors, and the weather actually plays a role on how vibrant these leaves may be, with warm and sunny fall days promoting some of the most vibrant colors, including reds. Another thing, cool but not freezing nights would also contribute to more color uh, for fall foliage. The reason you don't want freezing nights, well, you could freeze in kill the leaves and then they could just fall off without changing color. And then one more thing, drought. Even earlier in the season, that can actually delay the color change by a matter of weeks. All in all, there are so many contributing factors that no fall foliage season will be the same from one year to the next. But in Washington, even if you have a more intense season or a less, you can pretty much bet on beautiful scenery either way.